Hello, Ziva here, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters. And today, we're going to be continuing on with what might be the last of the first arc in the game, the Super Warrior arc, because as you can see, we're on Chapter 9, Map 15, to Supreme Kai's World. It is the final battle. So, I do want to mix up my team a little bit. We got level 20 as Vegeta, Gotenks, and Goku, so maybe we can mix things up a little bit more, try to get more characters closer to level 20. So, for now, let's do Piccolo. Gohan, and uh, let's do Boo. There you go, not a bad combo. I don't think we've done Gohan and Boo, so that might be a pretty good combo, we'll find out though. And we'll be going against uh, the Andre Tien and Krillin. <laughs> the human combo, cool. So let's see what ends up working out here. I'll be getting ready for that battle. I'm recording this right off the back of the previous two episodes. It's been interesting seeing this arc evolve. I'm still just excited to see where the other arcs take us. I can only t hope that one of them is focused on like villains or something, because I would like to have a way to unlock the villain characters, you know, and play them and level them up. I mean, I don't really know how much this level up system carries outside of the story mode. Does it carry on to other game modes or is that a lot more based on just your fighting skill, you know? It seems like it's putting a lot of emphasis on this, you know, leveling up system. So I would imagine it really matters later on, at least in the story mode. These guys aren't doing too much so far. Um, that was a cool move though, I like that. All right, well, Krillin's out of here. We didn't perfect him, but that's fine. But yeah, today I wanted to talk about my experience with other Dragon Ball games. Uh, like I said, that uh, my first ever Dragon Ball game I ever played was actually my first ever experience with Dragon Ball with a PS1 game called Dra Dragon Ball Ultimate Fighters 22. I don't know why it was called that, but it's honestly a little bit similar to this game. It was a 2D fighter that had sort of, I guess it had more like flat sprites, of course, because it was PS1 we're talking about, like flat characters on a 3D background. Honestly, overall, decently similar to get this game in a cool way. And that was my first experience with Dragon Ball. I don't know why, but it's so nostalgic for me to see the characters select in that game, like all the characters standing sort of in a group over a black screen. It just was a cool way to do a character select, is having them all stand like that. I don't know, that was just really cool to me. But there was like a little, you know, tournament you would do, and like, in that game, you could like do a tournament and have more than one, more than four players. Even though the PS1 can only have four controllers, you could have more than that because, of course, if you had a whole group of people that were more than four, you could just pass off the controller when it was their turn to fight with somebody else. So you could actually have tournaments with multiple people, and that's sort of something that carried over to other Dragon Ball games. I'm getting my butt kicked because I'm thinking about other things while I'm trying to play. But uh, yeah, that's just sort of something you could do. And in Budokai series, it was the same thing with the tournaments. The tournaments were always a really fun thing for multiplayer. All right, looks like we got level 16, 16, and 17, gun. That's our first battle done. That was the first Dragon Ball game I ever played. I've never owned that one, though. Then I got Budokai 2, and then I think I got Budokai 3, and eventually Budokai 1, because I just enjoyed the Budokai game so much. Eventually, Dragon Ball Z Sagas came out on uh, the PlayStation 2. That game was awful, but the concept was cool. <laughs> Basically it was Sagas, why a lot of people don't talk about it anymore is because it was really badly done, but instead of it being a fighting game, it was more of like a 3D beat-em-up kind of game. Of course, beat-em-ups are a little bit different than fighting games. Um, and it was sort of like, you know, you get to adventure around this environment, beat up the characters, once you beat up the characters, you can move on to the next area, but you can adventure around and find some Dragon Balls. I think it only went up to the Cell Saga, which was sort of a pain, seeing how it was called Dragon Ball Z Sagas, even though it only had Three sagas in the game, I guess, technically. It had the uh, the, the Saiyan, Frieza, and Ow. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, and, and then Sound. I mean, I guess it may be Androids, but I don't remember Androids being in that game. It was a cool game and a fun concept, and I enjoyed it when I was young, but I don't think I would enjoy it if I went back to it now, because it was a pretty bad game, in all honesty. It just didn't control well. It was so weird and awkward. But the idea was cool. It didn't have too many unlockable characters. I wish there were more. Like, I feel like that game would've been cool if it had like a ton of different characters that played a bit differently. And then the Tenkaichi games started coming in. Uh, the Tenkaichi games were really good. Um, Tenkaichi 1 was okay. Tenkaichi 2 was really good and had a ton of characters. It seems like the fan favorite is Tenkaichi 3, but I actually never played that one. I, I'm sure it has the most characters because Tenkaichi is when they were like, okay, let's just make a basic fighting system and then have as many characters as we physically can. And that's what they did with Tenkaichi 2. There were so many characters. It was so exciting when I was young. And then uh, I think Tenkaichi 3, like I said, more of the same. There were tons more characters. Okay. So we've been beating these guys up pretty well with uh, 
Boo, I, I do wanna play some more Gohan soon. Maybe I'll save that for more for the next battle, but we'll get some Gohan in now. Come on, Gohan. Man, Gohan's so cool. I've been, probably should be playing him a bit more. We'll use our Super Kamehameha. I'll do it myself. All right. Oh, ow, that didn't work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, Piccolo, finish him off, finish him off. Thank you, Piccolo. Gohan always needs Piccolo to help him out a little bit. <laughs> didn't really mean to do that, but hey. More experience for us, that's gonna be more level up for everybody. Get these guys to level 20 will be great because that'll be a link event for Piccolo and Boo if we can get them to level 20. Not for Gohan though, Gohan just had his at 15. So this is a really simple level setup. I feel like this isn't it for what we have left in this arc, but uh, it'll definitely be a good chunk of it, I think. I think we'll probably battle her here. We'll go to Supreme Kai's planet for some reason and we'll continue the battle there, which will be pretty cool actually. I'd appreciate that. We're gonna get going against Gohan, Trunks, and Piccolo here. Trunks is the only clone we've gone against for characters we haven't unlocked on the good guy side. On the bad guy side, all basically all the bad guys except for Cell, technically. When we played a Cell that one time against Android 21 for just a second, it was really weird. And then Android, like, even though we won, technically, in storyline we lost, it was really weird. Um, it said we unlocked Cell, but we just can't play as him because we're, we're playing as good guys or something, I don't really know, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and switch characters, or not, jeez. You guys are actually playing well when I'm trying to talk while playing video games. It makes it more difficult. Okay, there we go. Hold on, hold on, ow. You know what then, fine. Boo's gonna really, really hate you in a moment. There you go, see you, dude. That's a bit of a destructive finish right there, if you ask me. Man, is this game beautiful. The art in this thing is just fantastic. This is such a cool map too. We haven't seen too much of the Cell Games map. It's so beautiful and lush and green. When I feel like out of all the sagas in Dragon Ball Z, if I had to rewatch any of them, I'd probably rewatch the Cell Saga. I feel like it's the one I'm the least familiar with at this point, even though I have watched it. Uh, I definitely think I'm more familiar with, of course, everything Frieza Saga and before, and the Android Saga. I'm pretty gosh I'm familiar with that one. Because those ones I watched a lot while I was younger, but I didn't really watch too much of that after when I was younger, just because I didn't really have too many means to actually watch Dragon Ball when I was young. I mean, I tried. I know I would have my dad record Dragon Ball on VHS because it would air like past my bedtime when I was really, really young. All right, you know what? Let's switch over to Gohan. I don't know why I'm playing so much as Boo and Piccolo. One I have, oh gosh, I messed it up. Fine then, help me out. We gotta get the real Piccolo in here if I can't do anything else. They have full energy, but we got special being cannon. You don't have that now, do you? Hold on. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna try to grab you because you're gonna keep dodging all day. And then I'm gonna. Nice. Okay, so we're doing okay this time. Nice. Okay, we got him. But yeah, Dragon Ball Saga was a weird game. And then, of course, all the Tenkaichi games. And that's when I stopped playing as much Dragon Ball games. I mean, beyond that, I had some Game Boy Dragon Ball games. There was a uh, Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu, I think it's pronounced, very weird. Um, it was actually another 2D fighting game. That game was pretty bad, though. It wasn't that great. I mean, I, I remember it being pretty cool because there were some cool knockable characters. There were a lot of cheat codes you could do, I think, if I remember correctly. But the game itself didn't control that great. The combo system was confusing, which is to sort of be expected on a on a console that literally had an A button, a B button, shoulder buttons, and a D-pad. Those were the only buttons you could have on a Game Boy. So the combo system didn't really make too much sense. It was really awkward and clunky. So uh, it just really wasn't that great as a fighting game. But as a game for a Dragon Ball fan, it was nice enough. And there was also a Dragon Ball GT game. And I haven't really talked about GT too much in this series. Maybe at some point I will. Um, but. Dragon Ball GT something. I forget what the, the sub name is for it. But there was a Dragon Ball GT game on the Game Boy and that was a really good game. That was actually a beat em up game. It well, like, you know, just like Dragon Ball Z Sagas, but different. You know, a lot more of a fighting game like I would imagine, uh, what is it called? Oh man, I forget what the game is called. That's like it. <laughs> Never mind then. Uh, Double Dragon maybe? I don't know, I haven't played too many beat em ups. Or like Scott Pilgrim versus the world or something like that. But it was really solid. Ta Tom, my cat, is running around the room. He's really excited, he just pooped. He gets really excited when he poops. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, there goes Nappa. 
but we're handling this pretty decently. For me, like half paying attention, I'm trying to talk about Dragon Ball GT. I'm trying to make sure my cat doesn't make too much of a ruckus. And I'm still doing pretty decent. That must mean that these characters are mostly asleep. Okay, ooh, I love that move, Gohan. You're not getting away. All right, let's go ahead and, can I do my ultimate? You're not getting away. No, I can't, because I'm bad. You're not getting Why away. am I doing so badly here? What, what am I doing wrong? Bro's coming at me off. Even though I'm really, I still really don't like this move. I did it wrong, but. <laughs> because it can't be a bro's Kamehameha if you don't have your bro. Why is it not stinking working? Come on, stop. I'm the worst at this game. What is going on? There, finally. How many, I. No, that's still not right. Oh. Yep, there goes Tom, he's meowing. Why? Why is that not working? Yeah, like I didn't do it any different that time. What was happening? Is my controller dying? I think my controller's dying. I gotta plug it in. Anyways, we got the cool finish I wanted. Okay, so we get a couple more level ups here. The cats are like relentless in interrupting my recordings. Gosh, we got like three level ups there. That was insane. Like, uh, like Gohan like had two levels of his own. I think Piccolo got two more. Like crazy stuff there. But the cats like are relentless with not letting me record without any interruptions today. I don't know what's going on. Level 38, holy cow, I might have to change my team up, but maybe we'll just try it. We get 50 Zenny, oh exciting, going against Android 21, but it's only one character, so that's why I guess sort of makes up the level difference is that you know it's only one character for her. I mean, I wonder how powerful Goku would be right now if I had him in every single battle, I'm not really sure. But uh, for now, we are in like the center of volcano land, population one, or population android 21. How about that? We're we got the whole crew. Come on out. You just you try, try and eat us. Vegeta's gonna knock your block off. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to eating, I think you Saiyans beat her hands down. Yes, and the same goes for fighting. None can challenge a Saiyan in that area. And here she is. She makes quite an entrance. She just slams her face into the floor. Hi. You gonna say anything? Oh, she's running. <laughs> Bye. Although I wish there was a buffet around here. You fool! Do you really think you can win? Food should be eaten, not heard. Now, I want to eat you so much, I'll make you into the finest affair right here and now. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> now what? Well, I do believe it is time to die! Time out! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Time out. What? I was about to bash your face in. Sorry about that. It's just, you're a whole lot stronger than I thought. If we're kicking it into high gear, then let's go somewhere we can really let loose. Uh, Goku! Putting the planet first, eh, Kakarot? So you're playing it safe this time. That's right, Vegeta. I'd rather fight without having to worry about making a mess. You know what I mean? You're suggesting we take the fight off planet, right? But where? <laughs> Namek? <laughs> just to be mean to Piccolo? Hey! I know just the place! It'll be perfect! Everyone, grab on to me! We're going for a ride! But will she follow? Bye! We'll be waiting for ya! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> See ya! <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, she might as well explode the planet then, unless she has a purpose not to. I mean, that's sort of the thing I don't get. Like, what is the end game for Android 21? Because she's not like Kid Boo, where she just likes to destroy things, or she would have already just destroyed the planet and would have been done with it, you know? Um, that was the problem with Kid Boo, is that we couldn't catch up with them, and he kept destroying everything. Man, is this beautiful. Look at this place. I love it. And that's the story. So would you let us fight here, pretty please? It's just like you to bring trouble to my doorstep. Ugh. The sacred world of the Kais isn't your personal playground. I know, but this is the only place that came to mind. Sorry, sheesh. It would be safer to bring the fight here, but can 21 even make the journey? 
We're about to find out. Yeah, she'll come. I know it. I think. Which is it, Goku? If she doesn't come, we'll just have to figure out some other kind of plan. No big deal. By the way, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what are Lord Beerus and Whis doing here? We thought we would enjoy the show. <laughs> As you predicted, Lord Beerus, they moved the final battle to this very spot. Well, I guess Earth will be staying in one piece for another day. One day earned is... No, how is it? A day saved is a day earned. Got it. I'm so smooth. You mortals are so predictable. It really is a shame. By the way, boys... I would turn my attention upward. Oh boy. Huh? Oh no. That wasn't upward, by the way. That was behind us. Found you! Oh my gosh, how did she get here so quick? I guess maybe she has instant transmission too? You got here faster than I expected! I see. It would appear Android 21 has arrived. Hmm. Do Goku and his friends stand a chance? Probably not. That Android 21 is pretty powerful, honestly. This battle could go either way for our friends. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Did she break? What a smorgasbord of strong fighters! This is awesome! I feel like a kid in a candy store, literally! You've got it backwards. We're the ones who are gonna chew you up. Oh, that that emphasis was wrong. I feel I've died and gone to Android Heaven. I can hardly contain myself. This couldn't have gone any better. Oh no. So that's the source of your power. I think I'm starting to get it now. Oh boy, here we go. So is this really gonna be the final battle? I really don't see us beating her. Like, I don't know if the second arc is a continuation or a different story. We're going against a level 38 Android 21. This might actually be difficult for once in this game. Oh no. You know, she's still sort of, you know, now that she's a boo form, she definitely fits more in with other Dragon Ball characters, but she still sort of sticks out. I mean, that's sort of my complaint about, um, oh, she's actually taller than I thought too. Like she's like around Piccolo's height. I mean, Piccolo isn't standing all the way straight up. He sort of has a really crouched thing. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Ow, hey, you monster. Probably should've changed my characters, but the same time, I got Boo, I got Gohan. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh, I wanna turn her into a cookie. I wanna turn her into a cookie, that's for sure. I mean, we already got her halfway down. I think she's like restoring health right now though. So she has like a health restore, which is good to keep in mind. So we gotta keep beating her down really quick. Ow, that's gonna hurt. Please don't take care of Boo all the way because I wanna go ahead and turn you into a cookie. You're gonna be the sweet. Whoa, that is cool looking. She had so much hair. <laughs> Anyways, there we go, there we go. And then, man, her health restores so quick. All right, so we should do, uh, did I do it wrong? Maybe I didn't. Why is it not working? I'm trying to do the sparking blast. Oh, maybe the sparking blast already activated and I was just a total dingus. Anyways, let's get going in here. Feel like anybody should beat her, it should definitely be Gohan. You should have beat Super Boo, shouldn't he have? So at least now it can be this version of Boo, sort of, kind of. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. She did put up a bit of a fight here and there, but overall we were able to handle it. And we're gonna get a lot of experience, but still not level 20 for two of these characters. Next time, next time. Okay, good stuff going on there. Now what do we got? Uh, I really don't know. Are we gonna succeed? Is it gonna be like the cell thing where we beat her but it doesn't actually count as beating her? But now the whole squad is out here. Look at all these guys. Bastards. No! Oh, everybody blaster! Oh, ho, ho, that is cool. Final flag! My same call! Special Beam Cannon! Spirit Ball! Neo Tri Beam! <laughs> this is so cool! Oh my gosh! Everybody wiped her out! How did I lose? Damn it! 
damn it all! Confounded bio scum! I think we got her. Cool. Is it finally over? Yeah! The young'uns! They did it! Good going, Goku! Our world is pretty sturdy, but you certainly did a number on it, Goku. Sorry about that, old guy. I'll make it up to you, maybe, someday? After all that, we still don't know who 21 was exactly. Or the mystery person Android 16 was trying to save. Hopefully those are questions answered in different arcs, because I would like them to have answers. Oh my. There are still a lot of questions left unanswered. Honestly, Whis, does anyone care? It really is none of our business. However, my appetite did get going when that robot lady was talking about sweets. Well then, how about we ask Bulma to prepare us a selection of Earth's finest confections? Ooh. All right, well, it seems oh. like everything's going well. Does this mean you're still not satisfied? Hey, if you want answers, you're free to look for them yourself. Oh, you're talking to me. Okay, I didn't realize. Please, I'll eat your share if you don't hurry. Oh dear, coming. So I have to look for the answers myself. I guess you mean in the other arcs? Oh, and uh, do fill me in once you've pieced it all together. I'll try. Can you give me your number? No? You like making things difficult, don't you? All right, see you, Weiss. See you, Beerus. Okay, so I guess that means we finished the first arc in the game of three. It only took us 11 episodes, so expect 22 more for the other two arcs combined. Okay, the Super Warrior arc is completed. We got the trophy, I am Goku the Legendary. I can only assume it says Taco Eater. No, it probably says Super Saiyan. Um, we had 105 battles. Out of those battles, 105 of them were won. We didn't lose a single battle. When it comes to Kid Buu clone KOs, we talk about seven times. 82% arc completion. What about that other 18%? I'm a little confused. And we had nine hours and 57 per, for, for seven minutes of playtime in that arc, which is crazy. Get, you get the following title. Super Link Warrior acquired five, fifth, 50,000 zenny, I thought it was 500,000. 50,000 zenny, crazy, crazy stuff. Wow, so what things did I miss? Is there any way I can find out? No. What if I just chose a map? Do I have to redo that entire map? How would I figure out what I've missed? I feel like it might be stuff, might be stuff in the beginning. Oh cool, so we got more Link events triggered. Uh, that's cool, but I don't know what we missed. Sound and language button setting to save game, show map help. Oh, that's not gonna be helpful here. Uh, return to the story mode title screen. Weird, very weird. I wish there was a way we could see maybe a little bit more clearly what we missed. I feel like if it's anything, it's probably going to be like the next, uh, like the, the first two maps or so, because I redid those because I forgot to get TN unlocked. I went to the boss accidentally in like the first or second episode. Um, and because of that, I sort of like went through again, but I skipped all the menial tutorials because I didn't think it was a big deal. Maybe it is, and I should redo those on my own time. But as you can see under the Super Warrior arc, there is now a star. Maybe I could get like triple stars or something if I get everything 100% completed. Beyond that, as you can see, I guess I caught it earlier. There is the enemy warrior arc now unlocked. That is so excited, exciting. And as you can see, story completion is 33%. So yeah, there's only three arcs right now. Very, very cool. If we could check out the arc data, for the other arcs, obviously, there's not too much. Um, top three fighters are Goku, Yamcha, and Krillin. I think that's just because for a while we only had Yamcha and Krillin unlocked. Um, but yeah, we can check out Boo's Link event because we unlocked that. And then we get, we almost got level 20 with Piccolo and Gohan, but not yet. So let's check out Majin Buu's second Link event, phase two, or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Boo's body belongs to Boo! Wait, are you Boo? Nope. Boo, so confused! That makes two of us. I've been thinking you make Boo want to go on lunch break! Can I have some too? I could really go for a pizza. What Boo hangling for? Pudding! Pudding for lunch! Boo genius. Oh, that's right, you only like sweets. All right, see you, Boo.
boy genius. He's the boy genius. Okay then, awesome. So there's another Link event done. We'll be continuing to level up our characters in the next episode. If we get to play these characters, I guess we might not because it'll be the enemy warrior arc, but we're not gonna worry about that part now. I mean, I could go back now. If I continue, what happens? Um, I think it just probably starts us at that last one again. Or maybe there's more. Maybe that's why it's at. I guess not. This is just endless hunger again. All right, then let's not do this. Um, I guess it doesn't save the fact that you completed it or whatever. Weird. Um, for now though, I'm not gonna worry about that. I wanna go and try out the map select and we'll just do like map one and two. Like maybe one, two, and three, or wherever we unlock Tien, like whatever map that is, complete all of those. And then just get through it, through it, through it. And maybe that way we can get all of the battles done. Let's see if we can't do that within the next couple of minutes to wrap up today's episode, because we have a couple minutes left. We'll skip all the cutscenes. We know all of these, and we should be going in with level 20, so we should be able to destroy these guys. So I'm just gonna skip all of these. Um, just because we've seen them before. If you wanna see them again, go back and see the first episode. You can do that there. Man, it's been quite a journey for this game so far. We can only do Goku right now, which is interesting. Um, I wish there were things I could voluntarily skip, but I don't know. Either way, let's just, you know, we can go through it, we can learn a little bit, and we can just have fun with it. Level 20 versus level one. It has been one blast of a game though. We'll try to see if this gets us the 80 or the 82% to be 100%, or if at least ups the percentage a little bit. We'll just try to get through map one and see if there's anything I haven't done. Uh, oh no wait, can I skip, oh, I should have skipped the explanation. I didn't see it, it was right, too late, there we go. <laughs> so I think we'll be able to beat him quite easily here. Cause I'm just gonna go ahead and, there we go. And I should be able to finish him I think like right away. Cause he has so little health, he only has 5,000. And it's like so not much. Okay, so yeah, we'll just earn our way through this super duper easy. But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for supporting this series. It's been a lot of fun. I know it's not been like my most popular series of all time. A tiny, tiny bit of experience there. Uh, but I've had so much fun with this and I hope you guys have too. I plan on playing it a lot because I just really enjoy this game. I might make the episodes a tiny bit longer if I can manage to right now. It's sort of like time constraints for recording days. So like that's why I have the episodes at a half an hour each. But maybe at some point I can make them a little bit longer and that way we can get more done per episode. I'm just skipping and skipping and skipping. Skipping to our loo. To the loo? Isn't the loo supposed to mean the bathroom? Maybe, maybe we have to go to the bathroom. Huh? That's okay, that's understandable. All right, man, there's so many cutscenes to skip when you don't actually wanna watch them. It'd be nice if it would just skip all the cutscenes when you do that, but it does not. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, there's still more. <laughs> all I wanna know is that if we complete this first two maps, will it give us 100%? Maybe I should've started that map too. I guess I should've, because that was there was only one battle in that entire map. Well, that was a waste of time. But I didn't know that, so good to know now. All right, let's select Goku. <laughs> Uh, no, this one also just has one battle, so it's definitely not this one. Return to the story selection screen, let's not waste our time. Um, we'll do map three then, see what we missed there potentially. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm wasting your guys' time, but at the same time, didn't know what else I was gonna do in today's, for the rest of today's episode. See, so yeah, a map three. The maps are different from the chapters. Like, you give me chapter three, there's no chapter three map one, because it's the third map in the, in the whole arc. Why, I didn't mean to do that. There you go. Um, see, so this is where we normally unlock Krillin and everything, so we should have that battle and everything done. But I have to do all these other ones, because I think I skipped these when I was just trying to get everything done super quickly so I could get recording with that episode. So we'll try some of these battles. It should be super easy, because it's just us versus level one clone, so we should be fine. I thought it would be cool if we could have our whole team, but I guess they don't want to do it that way, just because three versus one constantly for the first couple levels would be weird. But who cares, you know? I don't know. Ready? Okay. Well, once again, these guys have 5,000 health, so it should be super duper easy just to beat them up. Like, yeah, we can just do it in a couple hits. It's funny. Obviously, we don't usually hit this hard is the thing because of our level ups. I didn't really know how much our level ups affected how hard we hit because as we've been continuing through the game, the enemy's health has been getting greater and greater. But I guess back here, we can really notice it because these guys' health hasn't gotten greater. So yeah. I didn't even know they really did improve our damage all that much, or really do anything, it's hard to tell. Anyways, we'll just be going against each character here and see how much of a dent this makes. It's all right, Clone Tien. 
But I've had a lot of fun with this game. Obviously, there haven't been too many games launched this year in 2018 as of recording this. It's only the beginning of February, but it's already one of my top games of 2018, and a lot of people seem to agree. My favorite thing about this is a lot of you know, Dragon Ball fans who might not necessarily be fighting game, game f fighting game fans are getting really into this game, and that's really cool because you know they get to sort of see a genre of games they're not exactly into, which is hardcore fighting games, and it's just been very popular and you know a good thing for the genre of fighting games, and that's really exciting. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's just cool because there's just tons of people playing this game for tons of different reasons. That would be a Dragon Ball fan. There's some people who play this game not even as a Dragon Ball fan, but as a fighting game fan, which is also interesting. But yeah, we'll go and do this one. And after we complete this map, I'll check the percentage and see if it's any higher than 82%. Because if so, then that's what we need to do. If not, then I have no clue. I just, I, I have no clue at all. But well, we're gonna find out. Because we can beat these guys in like two hits. Because I can actually just warp Kamehameha Yun, and that almost takes you out. Like, that takes out half your health. So, I'll go ahead and grab you, and that'll be it. Maybe that was actually a pretty slow way of beating you. Gotcha! <laughs> We're speed running right now. So, we'll just go ahead and defeat Clone Krillin, and we'll be all good. Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> We've gotten three battles done and we still can't get to level 21 because we're like a couple hundred experience away. We're, we're used to earning like 15, 17,000 experience. All right, let's get this one done. I don't know, if, like, what, if, what about these extra battles that pop up like this? Is this totally random? Or is this something that happens on purpose and it's something you need to do for the percentage completion? I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I have no clue. If you guys know what I might be missing for 100%, I would love to hear. This is taking slightly longer than I anticipated, to be honest with you, but I'm just gonna keep trying. Okay, go for him. Oh, dragon rush him. That actually might be the best way just to get rid of him real quick. Come on, yeah, nice, okay. Charge up, hold on. You're gonna try hitting me. Which I don't appreciate. Oh, hold on, no, not happening. We're gonna uppercut you, and then I'm just gonna, there, there you go, goodbye. Perfect! I'm glad. I really shouldn't be getting hit at all. So I'm glad I didn't. Okay, so we'll, at least that's done. We still, oh hey, look at that, we finally hit level 21. I guess we got a little bit more experience because we were going against two enemies there. So finally level 21 with Goku, that's fantastic. And uh, we can make our way down here and then take out Krillin and see how well that ends up working out for us. Probably not too crazy, but you never know, you never know. I just hope this gives us some kind of percentage because then I just know what to do. I can worry about it later, but if not, then I, I just wasted a bunch of time. I mean, we got Goku to level 21, I guess that's something. And I got to talk to you guys, and that's my favorite thing to do, is to talk to you guys. Okay, Ooh, he's level two, guys. He's twice as powerful than the level one guys. Oh, I'm nervous. But it's just growing, okay. It isn't a team of any sort. All right. I'll, I'll train up. Oh, I missed it. Hold on, I gotta start my training over. It's already done. So Clone Krillin is taken out, and I can skip all of this. The tiny little bit that the experience bar moves. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we can skip this cutscene, and it should boot us out back to the story mode main menu since we chose this map individually. It shouldn't start us, yes it does. So let's go ahead and check that out. We're gonna go to our arc data, it's still at 82%, so maybe I already did all those battles, I'm not sure what I'm missing exactly, but now our playtime is at 10 hours, that's crazy. It didn't feel like it's been 10 hours. Maybe leaving the game up counts as playtime, which is weird, because then it's not technically playtime, because I definitely haven't spent 10 hours, this series isn't 10 hours, and I haven't played the game outside of the series. Either way, I don't care right now. For, for right now, all I have to say is thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Dragon Ball Fighters. If you watched this video, make sure you comment Android Zebra, so now you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.